We're going to be setting up a practice exercise 9.9 .9 min max account. Of course, as always, try to do it yourself, or if you want to do it together, let's do it together. So, doing this together, a company has written a large class called banking account, and it has the following methods inside of here. We need to design a new class called min max account. So, before we do anything, let's make a public class called min max account. We know it extends our banking class. So, that's going to be our header. So we want to design this class and its instances can be used in place of banking account object and include new behavior of remembering the minimum and maximum balances ever recorded for the account. So to do something like that, let's make a private int min and also a private int max so we can hold those values. We should provide the same methods as our super class, so we'll do that in a second, as well as the following behavior. So public int get min, let's do that first. Public in get min is just going to return the minimum value. And then we also want a public, that is just, I don't even know what that was, public int get max, where inside of here we just return the max. So these are our accessors or our getters, and those are just gonna return. Now let's look at the methods inside of here. These are the methods that we're going to want to use and look at. We're also gonna manipulate this one as well. Let's move our getters down a little bit. So you have those. Now let's move on to our constructor. It's going to be the first thing right here, public banking account startup s. We want to change this though, since it's a constructor for a min max account to be public min max account, where we pass in startup s, or the user will pass in startup s. And inside of here, we're going to want to pass this to our banking class account. So since this is a super, we can just do super and then pass in s. Now we want to set our values because this is the first time it's happening. So min is going to be equal to super dot get balance. And we can just set our max equal to super dot get balance. Or since our min holds this value, set it to min here just to keep things a little bit simple. Now we have to deal with our debit and credit methods. So let's start off with our debits. I'll close that space there. We'll have a public void debit where we'll accept a D debit as parameter. We're gonna to want to pass this to our super class. So we'll do super dot debit where we pass in D. Now this is going to update our balance. And from here, we're gonna to have to update our min and our max. So let's store in our int balance, our super dot get balance. So this is gonna get the balance we store it in bell. And now we can check for our uh, value. So if our bell is less than min, well, we have to update min. So min is equal to our balance. Otherwise, so else if bell, actually, I think this should check it at the same time. No, it shouldn't have to. So we'll do else if, we can always fix this if we need to, but else if our bell is greater than our max, then we need a new max. So max is gonna be equal to our balance. We can close this off. And our credit method is going to be basically the same thing. So I'm going to copy and paste this in. I'm just going to change this to credit, change this to credit, and change our super to credit as well. So this should be our entire class. If we close this up, we can press submit. Um, and we have an issue right here. Cannot find the symbol in our variable min max account. So we have public min max account extends or banking class. Maybe I didn't spell that. Oh, it should be banking accounts, not banking class. Good catch. Okay. That would definitely give us an error. So submitting that hopefully we pass not all of our tests. So this is slightly embarrassing. I realized the whole time it was just, I misspelled credit and that took me a while to figure out. So always double check your spelling. Don't be like me and that will pass you four out of four tests.